Welcome back guys! Today we're going to go through on how I assemble my packs or more precisely on how I assemble the packs in the terms of spreading the cells among the packs itself. So basically I will go through a couple of points on how I do that. I will also show you with a real life example on how I would go ahead and do that. But before that I need to clear a couple of things up. First of all I'm not going to go through today on how I test the cells and arrange them in the buckets. If you want to see how that's done, you need to check my other video. You can find it up here now. I'm also leaving out the actual calculation on the sizes of the packs itself. And if you're interested in seeing how that's done, check out this video here instead. All the links to the videos, of course, are down below in the description as well. If you want to learn on how to solder the packs, or even if you want to learn on how to spot weld the packs, also a video up here, and you can check that out as well. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that as well. Don't watch the video without subscribing to my channel, so do that now. You have that button down below, here, or... So we have the packs here in front of us, and I have prepared it a little bit. We are going to build a 4S8P pack. And that stands for four of them with eight cells in each and the eight cells are in parallel. And those four are in series. So eight P in each with four in series. Basically if we turn this 4S 8P the other way around and we'll be creating an 8P 4S instead. This is a different kind of. Here you have four in series with eight in each. But on the other hand here, you will end up with 8 strings of 4 in series. And that will end up in, in such a way that each row here are not connected to each other. Only the ends on this end and this end is connected. So basically what we are building is this layout. You start with the series and end with the parallel. As I said in the beginning, if you want to understand on how you define the number of cells that you need and everything, check the other video out, I have links down below. Today, we are only going to show you how I arrange the cells. And here, I have arranged the cells in capacity ranges. Generally, I do 100 milliamp hour between every capacity range. But this is what I had to play with today, and therefore I also have arranged them in such a way. The highest to the lowest. And I have decided to not go under 2 amp hours today, so that's where I'm going to end up. I do suggest that you always wait until you actually have all the cells. Because if you start to build a pack, and then you build the next one, and then you build the next one, and then suddenly you don't have any cells that are good enough, you will end up with a pack that is uneven. So, in our case where we are going to build a 4S8P, we need 32 cells. So what I have collected here, is somewhere above 32 cells. I have no internal resistance mentions here and that's because when I test them, I test them at 1 amp. And 1 amp testing will show me that their internal resistance is good enough for my application. And in my application I will never ever reach 1 amp and I generally are around somewhere around 50 milliamp of current in average, so I'm far away from the internal resistance. This is something that is up to everyone to do and decide. This is how I do it. For a high current application, I would of course be measuring the internal resistance as well. So basically, it's time to build this small system that I have here. So, what or how do I do it? I rely on randomness, kind of. So I will be randoming the cell among here, and that's pretty simple. I start from one end of my pack and travel down. And today I want to begin with the bigger one or the high capacity ones, because I want this to be as high as possible. So we'll start from this end here, we take a couple of cells, and we make it simple by inserting one cell in each row. And to make this even, I always try to even it out somehow should place the cells in the same order. And as you can see here, I have three more cells to take from this batch. Let's get them out. So as you can see here, I only needed one more cell. So either you go 
by the next cell and insert those but then you get uneven packs so I'm going to leave them out for now and start with the next pack instead and we do the same thing I even this all out I have a couple more cells here so let's grab them as well and I do the same thing here and this time I got one cell left over I go to the next pack again I bring all those out and I distribute those among the cells how you arrange them in the pack doesn't matter that much two leftovers the last pack itself and since they will all be fitting in the same I know that I have enough and one left over so basically this is what I am left over with until the next build as you can see some in each and if we take a look above here you will see that I have my bottles here with the different cell types so this is basically how I even out the cell I make sure to spread them evenly on all the packs and hopefully Randomness will take over and make sure that I have even capacities. If you are playing around with internal resistance, you can of course use this as well. You can sort it in capacity and resistance and sort it the same way as I do here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something on how I do when I place out my cells in my packs. I do it very very simple, I do not overthink it, I just do it. And as far as of today, I have been running the first packs for almost a year now and I have not had a single pack fail. It may be due to that I'm not stressing them much at all. I'm generally not going below 30% and not above 70% of state of charge and the current that I'm pressing into them is very very small and I think I have been up to like 300 milliamp or something like that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to do that Give me a big thumbs up, comment if you like, and if you want to support my work, you can always check out the links below, and you can buy stuff from the links that I have. So once again guys, if you want to know more about how to build the packs, check out my other videos, I have several of them, and if you wonder anything, just ask, and I will answer, and I'll see you next time, bye.